All right. Thanks to everyone for joining me, Jason Brewstead, and the rest of the Lucas Organizational Performance Training Team today as we journey down the roadway to operational excellence. As with any journey, the likelihood of reaching your destination increases exponentially when you have a well-defined plan and the appropriate tools needed to execute that plan. In his book, The Soft Science of Road Racing Motorcycles, Keith Code discusses understanding and using the five senses of racing to develop that plan. Speed, traction, timing, location, and lean angle. Each of these senses requires your attention, but be careful because you don't have an unlimited supply of it and when you run out of it, you increase your chances of getting road rash. Now, we're not racing motorcycles today, but everything we do requires our attention. Today, we're gonna visit a few common locations where distractions took away the attention from many folks needed to safely navigate that roadway to operational excellence. We'll see you out on the road. Over 2,000 train vehicle collisions have taken place at railroad crossings just like this one every year since 2013. The results there have been unfortunately about 230 fatalities every year. Car accidents at railroad crossings commonly occur one of two ways. The car is struck on its side by an approaching train or the car drives into the side of a train. Can you believe that? 25% of vehicle train accidents occur at highway rail crossings. People actually run into the side of a train. How do you do that? Well, it's easy to do when you're cognitively distracted. That is, your brain can miss up to 50% of the available information coming at you while you're in the driving environment, while you're distracted. You see, the human brain doesn't do so well performing several tasks at the same time. We like to think we're good at multitasking, but we can't. What we can do is switch from one task to another. It's called attention switching. A University of Utah driving simulator study found cell phone users had slower reaction times than those drivers with a blood alcohol content of 0.08%. Hey, what's our legal limit again? Oh yeah, 0.08%. A little bit easier now to understand why they drove into the side of a train, huh? To learn more about distractions and how they impact your performance at work and at life, visit the Lucas OPT website at lucasopt.com. Learn the ways to limit those distractions, increase your productivity, reduce the number of unwanted or undesired events, and let us join you on your journey to operational excellence. We'll see you out on the road.